Good evening. The tobacco tax could go up if a state senator gets his way. He wants to do it on everything from cigarettes to e-cigs. News 13's Alex Goldsmith reports on where the money would go. Under this bill, it wouldn't matter how someone got their nicotine fix. They'd have to pay more, a lot more. We know that the best thing you do is nothing, but this is definitely the lesser of the evils. At Electric Clouds in Northwest Albuquerque, they sell a wide assortment of vaporizers, e-cigarettes, and nicotine e-juices. Our goal here is to eventually get people off of nicotine completely. But owner Damian Barth is worried about a new proposal the legislature will debate this year. It would drive a lot of us out of business. Senate Bill 77, introduced by Silver City Dem Howie Morales, would dramatically raise taxes on tobacco and nicotine products. We tried to come up with, a, with an approach that was going to be fair and it was going to be substantial. Cigarette taxes would go up a dollar a pack, but there would be an even bigger change for cigars, chewing tobacco pipes, electronic cigarettes, and e-juice. All of those products would be hit with a 66% tax. Morales says hiking taxes would steer people away from tobacco and nicotine products. It really does um, help create hopefully a better quality of life for our, our citizens. Right now, tobacco taxes bring in about $80 million a year. Morales estimates the bill would up that by around $30 million. A big chunk of all the money raised would go to early childhood education or pre-K. It's a great place to put that, that tax revenue, but at the same time, they're not going to get that tax revenue when they drive us out of business. New Mexico would not be the first state to charge a sin tax on e-cigarettes. Minnesota already charges a 95% tax on those products. Alex Goldsmith, KRQE News 13.